Good day, my friends. Today, I want to help you improve at sniping in Fortnite Zero Build Mode. But this video is definitely going to help you with sniping in normal Fortnite Battle Royale also. I'll try to keep it as quick and value-packed as possible, so let's get going. Tip number one, easily the best way to improve at sniping in Fortnite Zero Build is to practice on moving enemies in a creative map with snipers only. This teaches you the correct distances that you need to lead your shot against moving targets and allows you to practice quick target switching. This is best done on moving bots in a target range at varying distances. Truly, the thing that doubled my sniping ability overnight is by practicing in a creative map that I made for sniper training. I'll give you more information on this map at the end of the video as it needs an explanation and we need to keep moving with the sniper tips. Tip number two, the next way to get comfortable and get more kills using a sniper is to be constantly taking shots at every range while in safe positions. Just use good cover and shoot freely on targets that aren't challenging you with another sniper. Do not worry about missing your shots. I still miss about 60% of my shots on moving targets at far ranges, but I hit a ton more shots now because I've taken so many. No one hits all their snipe shots, but it's like Wayne Gretzky said, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. It's rare to run out of sniper ammo in this game, and it's easy to find more, so don't worry too much about saving ammo. If someone's pushing you at mid-range, take a quick peek shot and try to land a body shot on them. If you do, you'll have a huge advantage in the fight. It only takes a second to get a sniper shot off, and there's hardly any downside to doing it. I promise you, the sooner you take the pressure off of yourself about missing your snipe shots, the sooner you'll become a better sniper. I play with friends who claim they suck at sniping, and yet I never hear them using a sniper. And I think it's because they put too much pressure on themselves. So if you've got negative self-talk about your sniping or your aiming skills, you need to quit that immediately. That is only holding you back and that's going to keep you from picking up a sniper and taking the countless shots to actually improve. So lose the ego and just try to have fun with it. This is a game. Tip number three. Let's talk about reading players' movements and leading shots based on that. Obviously, the sniper in Fortnite has bullet travel, and that means we need to aim ahead of an opponent when they're moving. There's also a tiny bit of bullet drop at far ranges, so you'll need to aim above an enemy's head when going for headshots at long ranges. First off, there's no way to know exactly what a player is going to do when they're strafing around, but in most cases, you can make a quick assumption based off of the environment or their current trajectory. For starters, if the opponent has cover, you should always assume they're going to be strafing back into that cover. So we are always going to lead our aim toward the cover side of our opponent or the direction that we can tell they are forced to go. 75% of the time, that will be on the right side from your viewpoint. My left is your right. This is because most players leverage the right side peak advantage that Fortnite has due to the offset third person camera and the location of the character's gun, which means they're going to strafe to the left to get back into cover, which is your right. Now, if an opponent is strafing out in the open away from cover, just aim for the right side of their head. Most players prefer to strafe left because of the aforementioned habit, and if you always aim to the right, then you'll end up hitting more shots. That way, you aren't shooting to their left, then their right, then their left, while they make the exact opposite movements. That happens all the time. They strafe to their left, you miss. They strafe to their right, and you hit the shot because you stuck to your process instead of playing the guessing game. It's just going to increase your odds of hitting shots on strafing targets. Tip number four, leading distances on targets moving in a single direction. Okay, this is tricky and requires a lot of practice and experience, but you can kind of hack it. The trick is looking at the size of your opponent's character model in reference to your sniper scope rangefinder lines. The next thing you need to do is draw an imaginary line with the same angle at which your opponent is moving. Put your reticle on that line and calculate the distance using their speed and your reticle rangefinder lines. Here are some examples to help you memorize distances. I'd recommend watching this over 10 times and then even putting the video into slow motion to memorize the reference points. I really can't spend the time trying to teach this in the video as there are so many variables and it would take forever. But referencing character model sizes in comparison to your scope is a great way to start. Tip number five, and perhaps slightly contradictory to the previous statement about taking lots of shots, 
you should practice patience when using the sniper. And what I mean by this is wait for your opponents to become an easy target. I'd say about 75% of my headshot snipes are on players who aren't moving, and 50% of those shots were on players who were a moving target and finally settled down for just a split second. So being patient before you take your first shot can really pay off. It only takes one second of someone standing still to get the kill which is very common unless they have anxiety about getting sniped, which everyone should have. I know I do. Yes, I am a jumpy boy. You will never find me standing still. Well, tip number six, if you happen to miss your first shot on a player who has decent cover but is not aware of you, just slip back into cover and wait for a bit especially if they have teammates who could start lasering you together. You can stay hidden while keeping track of them, and in most cases, they won't know where the shot came from, and they'll make an incorrect assumption about your location, and eventually give you another easy shot at them. The last quick tip is for team modes in zero build mode, and it's about thirsting enemy players, or killing them after they've been knocked down. A quick rule is that if the enemy that you knocked has good cover to crawl back into, then you should immediately thirst them with another sniper shot. But if they have pretty bad cover to crawl back into, you should use them as bait for their teammates to meet the same fate. This goes back to slipping behind cover after taking your first shot. If you knock a player and they don't know where they got down from, that gives you a lot more opportunity to hit the next player too because their teammate can't give them information about your location. So use the time that they're crawling around crying for help to set up a new angle to take out their teammate trying to save them, all while you stay behind cover and they can't find you. Now, to really improve your raw sniping skills, let's talk about the training map that I mentioned. This seriously helped me so much with sniping, I'm surprised that I couldn't find any similar maps when searching around the creative browser. For some odd reason, I couldn't find any sniping maps that were against moving bots with normal game physics and weapons. It seems like all sniper training maps are like zero gravity, hunting rifle, no scope trick shot maps, or maps with static targets. So I made my own simple map with moving bots at varying ranges to practice leading shots. I'd love to share my map with you, but unfortunately, Epic closed my supporter creator account without me knowing because I hadn't hooked up my bank account. And now they have temporarily closed the supporter creator application process for a couple of months, so I still don't have a code and I can't share maps. So instead, I'm going to create another video, which I will link to in this video's end screen, showing you a quick step-by-step -step guide to making this map. It's really easy and it should only take you about 10 minutes. I'm linking to that video now. You'll also find a link in the top of the comments and in the description of the video. All right, I really hope that I have helped you become a better sniper. If you found this video helpful, I promise that I have much more to offer you. Hit that subscribe button and take another step toward improving your Fortnite gameplay. Now get out there and take a lot of snipe shots. Shinobi out.